I should say before the farm experts have a conniption that I'm not holding this camera. The camera's bolted to the board. I'm not dumb. Well, not this time anyway. Yeah, not much to see here. We need to get closer. Now, I've seen people make exactly this cut. Hit her hand real close to the blade, and the blade cranked up all the way because that supposedly is going to stop a kickback, which of course it won't. That driving knife right there is what stops the kickback. Now let's see what it looks like when the blade guard goes by. We should be feeling real safe. Now, nope, I think we need to get a little closer. Right here, your fingers are hoping that you set that fence right. And right here, there's a couple of grand worth of camera thinking this isn't looking good. But, yep, we made it. Not by much, but we did make it. Sorry about the lack of focus here. We found out that there just isn't any way to get this to focus on what we want when we're this close up. Yeah, we are that close up. And we're going to see how many quarter inch slices we can take without killing a 2000 some dollar camera. I think that's enough. You know those LED work lights under your drill press? Well, this is what they look like from the table. These lights are great for the operator and awful for the camera. And that's an inch and a half bit. We're going to make a bunch of shavings with it. This is another time while we're making this video that I kept thinking what this camera cost. And I was really hoping that the little dust we're making here don't find a way inside the camera. And you'll be able to see that once I get all the clamps undone, we can dump out most of this stuff and blow out the rest. This is the part that ain't going to make my wife real proud. Come to think of it, I don't know why I left this in. The camera makes this look a little funny. My hand's a good foot away from the blade, but it sure don't look like it when you do this. That's an infinity blade, by the way, for all the shiny fanatics. When you're joining the wide face of a board, this isn't how you want to be seeing things. I know this looks so safe and so simple, but every year a whole bunch of guys joined off the end of their fingers or most of their palm. And it's not a whole bunch better when you're jointing the edge of a board. You still gotta pay attention to everything you do. If our fingers could talk, I had a feeling a lot of us would be getting hollered at a whole bunch in the shop. So just in case fingers ever do get to see or talk, we need to learn to do things right so they don't do anything to make them angry.